Hi, my name is Helen. I'm your Mary and Martha consultant for this event. And if, for those of you that don't know what Mary and Martha is, we are Division of Day Spring, and we are named for the Sisters of Lazarus in the Bible. So we're all about the message. We're all about uh, telling people about Christ, especially with the things that you have in your home. So that being said, we have several different categories of products. I'm going to be doing tableware with you in this video. Now with tableware, we have two basic collections and then some other things. So the basic collections are Grace and Gratitude and Simply Elegant. I'll be honest, I don't have much of the Simply Elegant. I don't care as much for that collection. Um, I am a Grace and Gratitude girl. So I'm going to start by showing you probably my favorite Grace and Gratitude item. And that is this pitcher, the Queen Anne's Lace pitcher. All decorated for Christmas because this is an after Christmas party. You can see it says Grace and Gratitude. It has the raised dot detail. You're going to see that again on some of our other pieces. And it also has the, the Queen Anne's Lace detail on here. Um, I actually took this to my work uh, Christmas party last night with some punch in it. I will share the recipe for that punch in this group. And the flowers mostly came from the dollar store. And so this is what the top of it looks like. I really like that scalloped detail. Most of our products have something written on the bottom. Now that was upside down, of course. This says, Our God, we give you thanks. First Chronicles 29, 13. And that's what makes our products so special is that most of them have either scripture written on them or some kind of um, inspirational quote. This actually has a something written by someone named Bonnie Jensen who does some writing for us. For little things, for big things, for all things, there's room in the heart to be thankful. We don't have a God who steps in and out of our lives, but one who is ever present, always faithful, and deeply loving. He's in every circumstance, each moment, in all of our days. When we choose to begin with thankfulness, no matter what we're doing, we choose God's path to true joy. And that's a beautiful place to be. So this is the picture. We do have a Simply Elegant picture. Mine is broken, so I'm not going to be showing you that. So the next thing I'm going to show you is something that I just recently acquired. It's the Grace and Gratitude Salt and Pepper Shakers. They are just adorable, beautiful. They go with the, um, the Grace and Gratitude line. The salt shaker says, I'm thanking you, God, from a full heart, Psalm 9-1. And it has the beautiful detail all around it. Um, don't know if that's the Queen Anne's lace or some other flower. And then it has a stopper on the bottom. It's very easy to pull out. The, the other salt and pepper shakers that I have that were my mother's are false grass. And the, the stopper is really hard to pull out. This is very easy. It's more of a rubbery. I don't know, maybe hers have just gotten old. And then the pepper shaker says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 34, 8. Same detail all around it. Same raised dot detail that was on the pitcher. Same little stopper on the bottom. Another thing that I have recently acquired is the butter dish. And you'll have to forgive me, this actually has butter on it. But you can see how it looks with butter on it. I took it to the work Christmas party. Of course, I showed you the back. This is the front of the cover. I can't read it backwards. One blessing after another, John 1, 16. See that same raised dot detail I was telling you about. It goes with the grace and gratitude theme. I just love this butter dish. Last night was the first time I had used it. And I, I didn't want to get rid of the... I mean, I'm going to use the butter off of it. So I didn't see any reason to clean it just to show it to you. We also have mugs. These are the Grace and Gratitude mugs. They don't have the raised dots on here, but they do say on both sides, begin each day with a grateful heart. And there's a detail at the bottom of the cup that I think is really pretty. This is microwave and dishwasher safe. So far, the others... Well, let me see about the butter dish. Microwave and dishwasher safe. Nice. <clears throat> Not sure why you'd want to put it in the microwave unless you were trying to soften, and up, soften up your butter. We also have a canister set. They're sold separately. This is the small one. It says blessed. 
raised dot detail again. Queen Anne's lace on it again. And it does have a little bit of a seal. There's a little bit of resistance when I try to pull the lid up. Now look what it says inside the lid. We have all received one gracious blessing after another. John 1, 16. And see it has this little gasket thing here that makes it stay closed. Now you wouldn't want to pick it up by the lid because you see if I pick it up, it comes loose. It's not strong enough for you to pick the whole thing up by the lid, but it's enough to kind of keep it sealed a little bit. We have so many things. I'm trying to decide what to show you next. I'm just going to stick with grace and gratitude for now. Get some of the stuff out of my way. Um, we also have dip bowls. So these are the grace and gratitude dip bowls. This is a set of three all sold together. So I want to say 36 for the set. And all the bowls are different. They all have different designs. This is pink inside. So of course it's my favorite because that's my favorite color. This one just has the raised dot detail and it's kind of a taupe or putty color inside. And then this one, this pattern shows up again and one of the pieces I just found out is out of stock is the um, interchangeable plate I was going to show you, but since it's out of stock, I'm not going to show it to you, but it has that same pattern on it. And we had, a, we used to have some napkins with that same pattern, but this one has writing in it. This is so good. So we have, uh, multiple different dip bowls that's the uh, grace and gratitude ones we also sell simply elegant ones and there's some christmas ones i'll show you in the christmas video but there's also two boards that go with the dip bowl this is the grace and gratitude one i don't have the simply elegant one there's styrofoam everywhere but this one says all the time god is good god is good all the time nice little metal handles on each end most of our stuff comes with one of these little tags that usually has something, some scripture written on it. And this says they worshiped together at the temple each day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared meals with great joy and generosity. That same verse is on our several other pieces. Uh, it's on our jewelry tree, too. Now, I don't know if you noticed there's a big crack in this. This survived a car wreck where my car was totaled. And uh, just left with this big crack. So I decided not to try to replace it because it shows uh, the miracle of the fact that I survived that accident. And most of my products did. This was the only one that showed any damage at all after the wreck. My car was totaled. But I'm just um, it's just a miracle that it survived at all. But anyway, it has these little uh, indentations for you to put the bowls in. And they just fit in there, and you can see the ampersand in the middle. That's our symbol. You can put them in any order you want to. And you can even tilt the board, and they won't go anywhere because of the indentations. But these are really good for baked potato bar night or uh, taco night or um, if you have, a, like I had the Christmas party. I didn't take these because I didn't take any dips or anything, but if you have different types of dip, um, you know, you can put different types of dip in each one of these. Put them in the board. Um, or even like it, where I work, we had a hot chocolate the students got to work for um, getting a hot chocolate day. So you could put hot chocolate toppings in those marshmallows and uh, candy cane bits and uh, different things like that. So there's lots of different uses for the dip bowls and the dip board. We also do have, we do have place setting. Uh, I don't have the dinner plate. Oh, here it is. I do have the accent plate and it there's I think it also comes in the white color but this the one I have is the blush color and I think this is beautiful this detail here and it has the same verse written on the back as the some of the other stuff uh, the pictures what I was thinking of it's the same thing and it coordinates with the medium pedestal now we have this in white I do have the white one I don't know if you can read that on the bottom. It says, thankful for simple graces. And then color-wise, it coordinates with our the bowls. You can get the all-purpose bowls in blush and cream. It says, begin with giving thanks. And this is microwave and dishwasher safe. And the plate was too. I don't think the pedestal is. 
you should hand wash this and don't put this in the microwave. And then we also have a pedestal bowl that's like this as a pedestal. It looks exactly like this. Grateful for life, simple joys. And in this, I don't know if you can just tell the, the size of this just by looking at it compared to me, but this is more the size of a cereal bowl. So it's pretty big. It would be good for serving. Um, I mean, I guess you could buy a set of four of these and then use them as dessert bowls or even for soup or something like that. But um, I took these to church one time to a potluck that we were having. And I took one of our platters that was is gone now. It's discontinued and sold out. I don't know that it's sold out, but I know it's discontinued. The Grace and Gratitude platter. And I had bought some cheese puffs and put them on there and put strawberries in here. So that was a real nice thing. A real nice use for that. And then going back to this pedestal, we have it in white. It says the same thing, thankful for simple graces, only it's written in brown. Okay, let's see, what else? I'm gonna get some of this cleaned up out of my way. So we also have a couple of plates. Sorry. This is the UR special plate. And I heard a rumor that this is going to be on the after Christmas sale. So you'll have to watch for that. It says we're grateful God has given us so many celebrations. An awesome day, a job well done, a big congratulations. Today you are the shining star. This plate is here to show it. You're special in our eyes and his and you deserve to know it. This day belongs to the Lord. Let's celebrate and be glad today. Psalm 118, 24. Microwave and dishwasher safe. This would be perfect for somebody's birthday. Serve their dinner on this plate or even just their cake. I had a lady at a vendor event who bought this. She was a grandmother and she said, I want to have this plate for when my grandchildren come to visit and it's their birthday so I can serve their food on this plate. And then we also have this. I don't know if y'all have heard of this tradition. The giving plate. What better way to act upon his will for us to care than cooking up some tasty treats especially to share. Just flip the plate and sign your name. You'll see where it has been. Then fill it up with food and love and pass it on again. God loves people who love to give. So just like it says, uh, you, I would use a Sharpie. And there's plenty of room on here. It is microwave and dishwasher safe. So just sign your name with a Sharpie. Make your brownies or whatever. Take them to your neighbor when your neighbor is sick. And then hopefully your neighbor can sign it and pass it on to another neighbor. And then hopefully it'll get back to you with everybody's signatures on it where it's been. Sorry. Okay, what should I show you next? Um, I just keep banging stuff around. This is the footed server. Grace and Gratitude footed server. And this is nice uh, serving dish. I've taken this places before with different types of salads. Mostly my mandarin orange salad is what I usually put in here. I'm trying to think if I've put anything else in here than that recently. I don't think I have. Um, you could probably even use it as a punch bowl. It's not that big, but um, definitely big enough to be a serving bowl. And while I'm thinking about it, I do have some things that are new to me that are in the box. And I wanted to wait until Christmas morning to open the box. So there may be another video coming where I'm showing the things that were in the box. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to show this while it's right next to me. Say Grace Mealtime Prayer Box. It has a stack of different prayers and um, inspirational quotes that, that would make nice blessings. It even has some blank cards in it that you can write your own blessing in it. I don't know if you all have been like this or not, but growing up, we always said the same blessing every night. God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for our food. And it was just like you just were reciting it, but it didn't, you weren't necessarily meaning it. So here's some different ideas to help you with uh, praying before you eat. This one says, in a world where so many are hungry, may we eat this food with humble hearts. In a world where so many are lonely, may we share this friendship with joyful hearts. Amen. And then some of them are like that, and some of them are 
actual scriptures like this one. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. Amen. That was from Numbers 6, 24 to 26. So I really like this idea to keep this on your table and use it uh, for your children to help teach them how to pray before they eat. I'm going to go ahead and show this so I can get it out of the way. This is the only Lazy Susan that we have that I have. And it matches. You're going to see this pattern come up again on another piece. I'm going to show you in a minute. This says, God blesses us with everything we need to enjoy life. 1 Timothy 6.17 And it does move around. It's the Lazy Susan. Perfect to put in the middle of your table. Put condiments on and then people can just turn this around and, and get what they need. Uh, we have another one. I'm not sure how the size compares. I don't have the other one that we have. But this is a, the Enjoy Life Lazy Susan. And then, let me put some of this over here. We do have these uh, two-tiered risers. They're very slidey. It's hard to pick them up, but this is the way it looks when you're setting them up together. And you can position them any way you want. You can center the little one on the big one. You can put them uh, separate, use them completely separately. I'm going to show you uh, in a couple of days there will be a picture that goes... Uh, with the tableware, it'll be the day after the, this video airs. I don't know if you want to call it that, airs, whatever. The day that you're seeing this video, the next day, there will be a picture that I'm going to share, several pictures that I'm going to share from a tea party at my church back in May, where this one is being used to put a dish of fruit on. So it was used completely separate. This one wasn't used at all. Now this one has had an unfortunate accident where I left something greasy on it and it left this big old grease spot. So with any of our unfinished wood pieces like the Lazy Susan I just showed you and with this, um, don't put anything greasy on it or at least don't leave it on there any length of time. But the feet come off. They just unscrew. So you can use it without the feet. I actually used this one yesterday when I was getting ready to go to my Christmas party, I was going to make a, a, tray, a, a pan of rolls. And I wanted to put the rolls on one of our nice dessert plates, but I wanted them to not be upside down. So I, I knew the pan was going to be hot. So I put the pan of rolls directly on top of this and put a paper plate on top of it. And then I could just turn the whole thing without the feet. And that got it upside down on the paper plate. And then I put the other plate on the bottom and turned it back. So anyway, I did use this for something else yesterday. And the feet are interchangeable. I can put the short feet. You notice these feet are shorter. So I can put the short feet on the tall one and the tall feet on the on the little one if I want to. Um, just don't get them completely mixed up. I did that one time. I thought the floor wasn't level. <laughs> because it... They were sitting really crooked because I had like one tall foot and two short feet on it and it was kind of tilted. It was funny. Anyway, so remember that Lazy Susan pattern I told you about. Here's that same pattern again. This is the utensil caddy. I don't think, maybe it's not the utensil caddy. It's one of the caddies. There's another thing that we have that just looks like a cup. But this one says... This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 118, 24. And you can see the compartments it has in it. Nice metal handles. This is good for if you're hosting a party. You can put this on the table with the food. And your forks and knives and spoons and napkins. Or you could even use um, organized school supplies with this. All different uses of this. Oh. I was just talking to a friend of mine who was telling me that she needed an oven mitt, so she bought this. She bought two of these because she needed a new oven mitt. I think that's pretty. I like those colors together. It says, let's eat. And it says, yum, on the spatula. On the back of the spatula, you can see our ampersand symbol. And scripture reference, Acts 2.46. And then I believe this is one of the last things. I still want to show you... a just one uh, simply elegant thing 
This is the Simple Joys. I think it's called Simple Joys Cheese Board Set. Something like that. Oh, it was upside down. Grateful for Life Simple Joys. Now, this is the interchangeable plate that comes on it. We have other interchangeable plates, uh, but the Grace and Gratitude one is sold out. That was the one that I said matched this pattern. And it goes with this, but it's sold out. But you just find that little divot there. And you can pick this up. And then you can see all the little, uh, the little tools that come with it. And then you can use the top of it. Like if you're making um, hors d'oeuvres or something. Like you're cutting pieces of cheese and stuff. You can do it directly on here. <clears throat> and this is finished. It's got some kind of glaze on it. So I think it would be okay if you put something greasy on it. It would probably wipe right off. Now this one, I think the, the board itself is not perfectly round, so you have to make sure you put this back in a way that you can get it back out again, because it'll get stuck. Okay. Well, let me show you this first. Okay, the only thing I have from Simply Elegant are the mugs. And, um, well, I don't have price tags on the both of them. Um, this comes in a set, so you get two of them. Now, I showed you, where'd it go? This one, this comes in a set also, but they're identical. This set is not identical. One of them is a lighter gray and the other one is a darker gray. But they both say, The Lord bless you and keep you, Numbers 624. So that verse is the Simply Elegant verse, which is on all the Simply Elegant pieces. The other one, the... Um, First Chronicles 29, 13 is the verse that's on all the grace and gratitude pieces. And then, let me see, there's nothing at the bottom of the cup, but this has a kind of an interesting detail. So, I have a friend who actually prefers the Simply Elegant because she just, she doesn't like things that are really ornate and fancy. She likes things just kind of plain. So, she really likes that, but I like the other one. And we do have a couple of cookbooks. One of them is sold out. And it's, I didn't see it in the current catalog, so I don't know if it's being discontinued or not. But this is the one that I have that we have in stock. I don't know if you've heard of Artie Sequera. I guess that's how you say her name. But she's on the Food Network, and she is a Christian chef. And she has written this Unwind, a devotional cookbook for the harried and hungry. I'll read the back of it. Have you ever felt empty after a full day when there's still more to do? Tasks to finish and mouths to feed. You can reach for the one who will always sustain you. In this thoughtful collection by cooking show host and Food Network star winner Artie Sequera, you'll discover reasons and recipes for joy, peace, hope, comfort, strength, and more that can lift your spirits even on the most demanding days. Get inspired by heartfelt devotions and selected scriptures as you recreate delicious meals straight from Artie's kitchen. So... I'm just going to turn to, this is where I just happened to turn to. The recipe is blistered tomato toasts with whipped feta. And so, of course, it gives you the recipe. And then on the next page is the beginning of a devotion. When you need love. I was 11 when I began to believe that I was unlovable. It's a bit of a long story. In one of those middle school experiences where you suddenly realize that you're not paranoid, everyone you care about does indeed hate you. 30 years and months of therapy later, I'm just starting to get over it. Beloved, are you feeling unloved or unlovable today? We all do at times. And to understand why, we have to start at the beginning. We were all made by God, whom the disciple John called love itself. Beloved, everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. The one who does not love does not know God, for God is love. So that goes on as a devotion for the, the next page, too. And then this page. And then there's a prayer. And then we're back to recipes again. And also, we have the Her Family Recipe Journal. So that is a place, it has prayers and scriptures in it, but it's a place for you to write down your own recipe. I think that's a real neat idea. 
and uh, neither one of those are very expensive. Some of these price, some of these things that I've shown you like this, this is over a hundred dollars, um, but some of the other things are a little bit pricey, but um, the books are pretty good. Uh, I want to say this is maybe like 25 or something like that, and this is 20 and um, you need to look out for sales. Like I said, we've got one sale that's starting. By the time you see this video, the sale will have started. I don't know everything that's on it yet. The only thing I've heard that's going to be on it is that you are special plate, but it could be that some of our pricey things go on the sale, and you need to just look out for it. Um, and if you join my VIP group and you, you stay, you know, you keep connected to me, then um, you can, if you see anything that you like, eventually it might go on sale. Some of these things I have gotten for free. Um, I think my sister got this for me for Christmas a couple of years ago on sale. Like she paid the sale price and then had it sent to me. Um, this was gifted to me. Uh, we have, every so often we have these mystery boxes where they, I think they're just trying to get rid of discontinued things mostly. But I had a customer that bought um, two mystery boxes. This was one of the things in it. She did not care for the things in the box. So she gave it to me or she sold it back to me. My sister paid for it and I ended up with this. This was free at the last, um, at, well, it was conference, but I, I did virtual. I didn't go in person and we always get some new products and we do that. So this was free. The butter dish and the salt and pepper shakers. I use product credit had a lady join under me, and when she reached one of her goals, I got a $75 product credit, so I could spend that on anything I wanted. So there are definitely advantages of being a customer, looking out for sales, and also joining. You can get a lot of free stuff as a consultant um, if you grow your team and you have people that, um, that you personally sponsor. When they hit their goals, you get stuff too. Uh, it was funny in the beginning when the, my first consultant that I sponsored did that. I didn't know what was happening. I was just receiving free stuff in the mail. And I was like, what, what is this for? Um, so I'll show you some other stuff as we get into the other categories. I'll show you other stuff that I got for free or reduced price. Um, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the tableware category. And expect to see more tableware stuff in the photos that are coming the next day after you see this video. And I will see you in the next video. Hope everybody has a great day.